Hello, welcome to another edition of the Bible Plain and Simple, where we look at the stories of Scripture today. We are story number 22, the birth of Jesus, and what a fabulous story it is. Uh, Luke chapter 2 would be the chapter to read. You really want to read that chapter if you haven't done so already. Uh, she gave birth to her firstborn son and laid him in a manger. Uh, interestingly, in all of our artwork, we have wooden mangers, but in reality, it was probably a stone manger, picture of which I have behind me uh, right now. Now, let's go ahead with the story. Uh, let's start off with main characters, Joseph and Mary. Um, uh, they are engaged to be married. They are living in the northern part of Israel in the Galilee area, around close to the Sea of Galilee-ish, a little bit in a town called Nazareth. And... Um, engaged uh, but not married yet. An angel comes to visit Mary, tells her that she's going to give birth to a child. She wonders how this is going to be. This child's going to be uh, the savior of her people. And the angel explains, the Holy Spirit is going to come upon you and conceive in you this child. So we know that this child is going to be uh, from God and uh, from Mary. Mary says, let it be to me as the Lord has said. She, though, uh, goes to see Elizabeth because the angel told her that, uh, you know, God can do these things. In fact, uh, your relative Elizabeth is with child right now. So Mary is excited about that. She goes, the child is conceived in her. She goes to visit uh, Elizabeth. When Elizabeth hears uh, the greeting of Mary, the child in her womb, John the Baptist, we talked about last week, leaps for joy inside her womb. And she knows that th there's a special child inside Mary as well. And uh, in response to all this excitement and all this news in front of Elizabeth, uh, Mary proclaims, My soul magnifies the Lord. My soul rejoices in God, my, s my Savior. Uh, we call that, that um, it's like a psalm or a song uh, that Mary said of praise. We call that the Magnificat, if you've ever heard uh, that word before. Uh, eventually, after John the Baptist is born, uh, Mary goes back up to Nazareth where her fiancé Joseph is. Joseph's a little confused to see his uh, fiancé pregnant with child and is, uh, is about to divorce her quietly. He wants to be nicer. He still loves her. And an angel visits him and says for him not to worry, but that this child is from God and that he is to marry her and take care of this child and name, give him the name Jesus. Uh, there is a census that takes place in the Roman world, and people have to go back to their ancestral towns. Uh, for Joseph and for Mary, they are of the household of David, and so they have to go to the town of David, which is uh, Bethlehem. And so they travel uh, south uh, to Bethlehem, which is right outside Jerusalem, not far from Jerusalem. And it is in Bethlehem where they uh, find a place in um, probably part of a person's house in a, st in a stable area in, in the house. And there she gives birth to the child and lays him uh, in the manger in that part of the house. And um, that's where he spends his first days. And uh, whether you know the story or not, uh, the night uh, from which he was born, angels appear uh, to, to shepherds uh, that are watching their flock by night. And the angels announce the birth of the Savior to the shepherds and uh, tell the shepherds how to find the baby. That The baby is born this night and is laying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. And so the manger, the, the shepherds uh, get up and uh, go and see this thing uh, that has been told them. And they find the child and they rejoice uh, with Mary and Joseph as they worship the little baby, uh, newborn Jesus uh, uh, that is there lying in the manger. And th that's really, that's really the, the, the story. We call that, of course, the Christmas story. And uh, there's more that comes afterward. Uh, the wise men, the three kings. Uh, we'll talk about that next, next week as we talk about the childhood of uh, Jesus. Uh, I do love going to uh, John's account of the birth of Jesus. John begins his gospel with, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And that's, that's the name, uh, that's, that's what Jesus is called, is the Word of God. And that Word became flesh. 
and that that's really the christmas story the 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 birth of christ story is that the word of god through which all things were created by which all things for which all things were created uh, by um, mary was brought into this world as flesh and blood human being uh, like you and me and yet god uh, unlike you and me and so together in jesus is both is both god and man and through jesus then god accomplishes what we could never do and in so doing uh, saves all of humanity now we'll get that as we finally get to the death and resurrection of jesus uh down the road uh what stands out to you what are your what what are your favorite parts of the christmas story what are your favorite parts of the birth of jesus something you didn't know before or um or something you just, a part that you love share that with one another and then of course spend some time in prayer for each other and as always close with the lord's prayer and as i mentioned we will do the uh, the childhood uh, of jesus next week have a good week bye, -bye.